right. Damage is Deja Live, go. Up until I was 14, I never cut my hair. I got the occasional centimeter trim to keep it healthy, but that was it. Um, little me loved my long hair. It made me feel like a mermaid. I hadn't learned to be self-conscious then and wanted nothing more than to be remarkable. Uh, a lot of people knew me as the girl with two feet of hair. I was very shy and unpopular and I didn't do sports, so that was pretty much my defining factor. <laughs> One time an old woman at a food pantry complimented my hair and then told me if I ever saw someone in my room at night, it was her coming to cut it off and steal it. Uh, the plastic chairs in class would fill my hair with electricity and the girls behind me would play with the floating strands and sometimes pluck them out. I'm so sorry about this. Um, uh oh. People touched my hair a lot. When I was a freshman in high school, I wrote a personal essay for class that contained the line, I wish my hair was like Medusa's. I could bite anybody who came within a two foot radius. <laughs> Why is it a trope that young girls cut their hair when they're depressed or traumatized? Why is any sudden change to my appearance a statement on my psyche? Allegedly, when Britney Spears, uh, when asked why she shaved her head, Britney Spears responded, I just didn't want anyone touching my head. I don't want anyone touching my hair. I'm sick of people touching my hair. I chopped off my hair because I wanted to feel, uh, because I was a 14 year old who wanted to feel different than the way she'd felt her entire life. Hair repairs and regrows. I bleached the ends and now they're damaged, but I can cut the damage off. And now it's gone. Curtain.